All right, this is Trend with Dropship XL. In this uh, training tutorial video, I'll be teaching you how to go about using WordPress and Spocket, which is an exciting app that helps connect uh, you to dropship suppliers in the United States and also through uh, the European Union. But if you're looking for uh, suppliers that dropship in the US, then uh, this is the training tutorial for you and also if you use uh, WordPress, all right? So in another video, I already did a training video on how to use Spocket with uh, Shopify, but this is again is the focus on showing you how to use Spocket and WordPress, all right? So let's get the ball rolling. So step number one, there's a total of eight steps that I'll go over. So the first step is to come over here and click on the link that is usually below this video that will take you over to Spocket. And if you click on that link, that's my unique link for you which is my affiliate link and that'll give you a 15% discount and that the public doesn't have. So if you click on that link, then give you a, a little uh, incentive and boost to uh, get a discount off of any of their paid plans. So when you come over here to uh, Spocket and you click on that link, then you'll see that uh, there's a few different plans. Okay, the basic will give you uh, access to up to 25 unique products for free and you can uh, do unlimited orders and these other benefits right here. If you're a bit more serious and a little bit more involved with uh, drop shipping and you wanna just go straight into uh, getting access to a lot more products, 250 unique products, along with having branded invoicing, that's gonna be a big perk you know, to have, especially when you uh, have Spocket or the suppliers rather ship the products out for you automatically after you make the sale then the uh, customer will see your brand, your logo, okay, your name, your company name on the uh, invoice. So that's another uh, you know, great uh, benefit to uh, taking consideration when you uh, choose a plan. But you can always upgrade at any time, all right? So once you create your account, then what you'll wanna do is head on over to your uh, WordPress site, all right? And you'll wanna make sure that you add the uh, Spocket app, okay? So I'm just gonna come over here to this demo store for WordPress and show you how to do that. So after you log in to your WordPress site, okay, it'll be like here I'm using aspenlane.com, but it'll be your domain name.com forward slash wp-admin, okay? Just in case you're not for sure how to log into your WordPress store. So once you log in, then you come over here to your plugins and click on add new. And then from there, you'll just search for the uh, Spocket plugin, okay? So come up here to the top right and type in Spocket and enter. Then from there, just click on Install or Activate. And then you'll see this after you install it and activate it, all right? So after you do that, then the next step from there is to make sure that you scroll down here to the left and move your mouse over Settings and click on Spocket. Okay, there's a sub menu underneath WordPress settings. And then at that point, what'll uh, happen is you'll wanna click on connect with Spocket. Okay, I've already connected here. And so you'll see a button there just that, that allows you to connect your Spocket account. And so once you do that, then you'll be brought straight into your, to your uh, Spocket account, okay? So you'll, you'll probably have noticed that after you signed up with Spocket directly, you didn't, uh, get a, um, a password, okay? Your username will be your email, but your uh, password is something that you'll be able to reset. It's auto-generated, and so you don't have that yet. And so once you uh, connect your Spocket app, okay, your WordPress plugin rather, okay, to the Spocket app, then it'll connect you over here, okay? And when you, uh, when you connect, you'll see your account inside of your system here, and the very the next step here then is to come in here to uh, the security and just update your password and make sure you uh, record that in your in your uh, you know section where you keep all your passwords so you can remember it. Okay. So just remember to do that. Okay. Once you've created your password, then you're ready to move onwards and start to find products to add to your store. Now the whole process of adding products to your store is very simple. That's one of the beautiful things about Spocket. And so from here. You can uh, come up here to global pricing rules. This is another thing to uh, be aware of and just know how to use as you start to use the Spocket app. 
But as you start to look for products, we're going to show you how to do that in just a moment. But you know, if you wanted to uh, set some global pricing rules, okay, where any product that you import from Spocket over to your WordPress site could be, say, 10% markup, okay, and it'll just automatically do that for you and just save you some time if you're importing 300 products and you don't want to have to go into your store and edit each one of them or even you can still do bulk edit inside of your products here too. Um, there's two ways of going about doing that. You know, you could come along here and uh, bulk edit all of them, click on edit, and then you can adjust the prices that way inside of WordPress, or you can come along here and do it ahead of time before you import products from Spocket into your WordPress store. Okay, so that's uh, how that all works. Now, uh, your branded invoicing right here, if you do sign up with the pro plan, or the Empire, then uh, you'll be able to upload your logo right here, and that's what's going to show on the receipt or the invoice when it goes in the packing slip um, to the customer. Okay. All right. So now we're just going to head over to the next step, which is to help you find products. Okay. This is where things start to get fun. Now, in here, you can uh, search for all kinds of products in all kinds of categories. Okay. You can use this filtering system up here with uh, the low to high. If you're looking for a certain you know, group of products within a price range, you can also search by location. They have a lot of different countries. So here in the United States, I'm going to just search specifically for the United States right now. And also ships too, of course, in the United States. But um, So I'm going to mark those. And then from there, I can, uh, if you wanted to, you could be selective with what suppliers, but I'm just going to keep it as all suppliers right now. And I'm also interested in looking for premium products. Okay, this is one of the benefits you gain if you're part of the pro plan or the uh, Empire. Now, I'm just going to look for a category of niche products. Say, say like I'm going to look for bags. So I just type in that keyword, and then I'll scroll down and look for all the bags that I'm interested in porting or sourcing straight into my store. Okay, so again, to keep in mind that this retail price right here is the price that's going to show it's going to bring over everything so let me show you how to do this you click on import to list I'm just going to click on these first four products okay and after you mark them it's going to put them into your import list over here to the left all right so before I go over there let me just uh, point out a few things for you okay so you'll uh, notice that when I click on this product it'll pop up the box and uh, just know that when you import products from Spocket to your WordPress store, all of these Im images are going to be ported in along with the description and everything else. You don't have to manually do anything. You just import and that's it. Okay. So now some of the things to be aware of is that when you import your products, you'll want to uh, take note of the shipping time and the cost over here. Okay. So for this product, in the United States, it takes eight to fourteen days, and the shipping is six to well six dollars and thirty four cents in this case. Okay, it looks like the same thing for worldwide. This is going to be different for each product. Okay, and also take note of the return policy. Okay, and the branded invoicing is not available for this particular product. Okay, so but most products you'll have the branded invoicing available, but um, so just uh, keep note of that, and uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to Spocket. They have great support. And if you're in my mentoring program, then you can, of course, reach out to me, and I'll help you out as well. So you have a double whammy. You have double support, all right? <laughs> all right. So now, now after you've uh, added these products to your list, then you simply navigate over here to the import list. And then you'll see the list of uh, products that you've added to your list here. Okay, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So now one of the things that you'll want to do before you import these products into your store with WordPress and WooCommerce is over here in the collection, it says collection, but for WordPress it's a product category. And since these are bags, I'm going to put them into the bags category. Okay. And so... In the future, they might do uh, or implement a bulk function where you can 
and you know, mark all of these and add them straight into a, uh, you know, a, a category uh, in bulk. But right now you've got to do it manually. So I'll just come down here and do that. You don't have to do it here. You can also do it inside of WordPress, okay? And so if you have, if you're importing hundreds of products, then you don't want to do this manually up front. What I would do is I would just click on push to current page and then it'll import them all. And then what you can do is come in here to WordPress and bulk edit all of your products, okay? And click on edit and then you can assign all the ones, all the products, okay, that you've marked into the category that they belong to, okay? So that's gonna be a, a lot faster of a way to assign your products to the right category um, if you have a lot of products instead of going and manually assigning them to the collection or category, okay? So now we're just gonna simply push these products and when you click on push all, it's going to take all of them and, and as it says, just push them all, all the data, all the pricing, all the SKUs, everything, okay, into your WordPress WooCommerce uh, product section, okay? So you just give it a moment to do that and then um, once that's done, then you're ready to rock and roll from there. You're ready to move forward. And so the last step, guys, is um, once you've imported your products to your store, now that they're done, when I click on refresh, it should all show right here. And the last step here is to uh, customize your products, all right? Because, you know, there's probably going to be a lot of other people who are selling these exact same products, all right? And, and so it's important to uh, be different. Okay, you can take the images, okay, and you can uh, get your designer to uh, tweak them, make them look nice, or not just nice, but uh, they look, make them look a little bit different than the standard image, okay, especially if they're products that sell really well for you. And so, you know, let me uh, refresh this page here and see all the products that I just imported are now showing in here. See that? Okay. So cool stuff. It's easy as that. And, and so what I'm talking about here is the last step when you customize your products is to make sure that, um, just know that competitively speaking, a lot of other people who might be selling the same product will usually have the same image you know, by default. And so if you give this image to your designer or even you can do it inside of um, a free app called uh, canva.com, this is a really nice free uh, design program here online and you can take these images and you can put special uh, you know you know uh, starbursts on them or calls to action or you know things that uh, can even be labels or tags you know that can point out certain things or features on your uh, image okay and so those are just some tips to help you out with uh, making your product listing stand out among all the other people who may be selling this exact same product, all right? And so with that said, that's the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions um, at all, feel free to reach out to Spocket if you're um, a member with them now or going to be a member with them here soon. And then if you're a student of mine, then just reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you out and help you customize um, you know, the, uh, the journey here to you, depending on where you're at. And so you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll talk soon.